Ariel Hawani post-fight at UFC on Fox alongside Luis Gaudino, who defeated John Lineker tonight. And Luis, congratulations on a great performance. And, you know, a lot of people were very high on John going into this fight. Did you feel as though you weren't getting the respect that you deserved? Um, yeah, I mean, the guy was on a 13-fight win streak, but a lot of those fights were in Brazil, you know, small shows. Um, a lot of the people on the forums are talking about his punching power. I mean, he does hit hard, but I don't see him drop anybody with one shot. So, you know, I knew he likes to throw big looping punches, and if I could stick to, to tight hooks and one-twos down the middle, I knew I was going to catch him before he would catch me. You look like a completely different fighter at this weight as opposed to 135. You know, your, your first fight in the UFC did not go very well. How much better do you feel as a flyweight as opposed to a bantamweight? Uh, you know, flyweight is where I belong, man. Some of those guys, you know, going into fight weight almost 170. So it's like, it's like getting in there with a welterweight. You know, at this weight class, you know, I'm accustomed to the weight cut. Um, I know what I got to do to get there. Um, keep my conditioning good so I can go hard for three rounds. And, you know, that's why I was able to go hard for these two. And I had another, another round in me if need be. What did that do to your confidence, that UFC debut? Because obviously, like we said, it did not go your way. Um, you know, going into that fight, I had some snags in training. Uh, I knew I had an uphill battle going in there. You know, uh, he's a tough guy, Bedford. He's big, he's strong, he's a great wrestler. And he was able to uh, implement his game plan early on. But, uh, you know, the UFC had told me, take this fight at bandweight, and when they open up flyweights, we'll give you a shot. So I had nothing to lose. I, you know, I'd rather take a fight at a weight class up than sit at home or, or fight on a smaller show locally. So, you know, I took the chance, and in the end, it worked out for me. I'm still here, and, you know, back to my winning ways at flyweight. They call him Hands of Stone. He hit you with some big shots. I, I see a welt on your forehead. Mm -hmm. How hard does he hit? Man, he hits hard. You know, he hit me with a body shot that was worse than the head shot. That one hurt me a lot, and I wasn't expecting it. You know, watching film on him, he didn't throw a lot of body shots. But uh, he should be called Head of Stone because my hands are killing me from, from connecting with him. But, man, he's tough. He, he's a great sportsman. You know, before the fight, I was out in the cage bouncing around. He asked to take pictures with me and stuff. A little weird, but, you know, smiling in the cage when we were exchanging. It, it was just a fun time. What did you think when you saw him miss weight and this was his flyweight debut? Did you feel as though that you may have a, a bigger advantage than you had thought going into the fight? Uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I just had a gut feeling that he was going to miss weight. You know, flying over from Brazil, his first fight at 25, first time in the UFC. Um, I, I just thought that, you know, I don't think this guy's going to be able to make it down to, to 25, 26. So, uh, you know, I ended up being right. And, uh, you know, that's why in the weigh-ins before I stared down with him, I took a little sip of my Pedialyte, kind of get under his skin a little bit or, or get in his mind. But, you know, I knew I had to have the mental battle one there. The great thing about being a flyweight in the UFC now is that there aren't a lot of guys in this division. Mm -hmm. How far away do you think you are from a title shot? I mean, you, you know, you got uh, McCall coming up with Demetrius Johnson, then the winner fights Benavidez. You know, I could, I could be two fights, two more fights, and I'm, I could be looking at a title shot, which, uh, you know, is, is, is pretty cool. It's interesting. But, you know, I'm look, not looking past anybody and the next opponent they put in front of me. You know, I'm going to focus on him and, you know, take, take it one step at a time. I'm not going to look too far ahead. You're six and two. All six of those wins have come in New Jersey. Are you going to petition the UFC to just keep fighting in this great state? Uh, you know, whenever they have a fight in Jersey, I'm going to bug Dana White and them. But uh, another interesting fact, undefeated at 125. Never lost at 125. Uh, you know, both my losses came at bantamweight and then at a catch weight so undefeated at 125 let's keep that one going I like that very much and I also like your shoes some Nike SBs yes. we got a little competition here I like that very much uh, I don't know if you guys saw but maybe you could put in the video for me and weigh-ins with my pink Air Force One so yeah I'm a sneakerhead just like you so. awesome, and the hair as well you know what what more can we say about you it you look good when you're out there you know never let it go right no 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 sticking with green I see some people in the forums I should switch it up Stick with green, man. That, that's my style. I'm not changing it. Stay true to your roots, and congratulations on a huge win tonight. Thank you very much, man. Thanks for having me.